We are going to make donuts, and I promise you, these are no ordinary donuts. These are my brilliantly wicked, outrageously tasty chicken donuts. Wait, hear me out. These light and fluffy parcels filled with barbecue chicken and sprinkled with savory dust are so much fun to make and even more fun to eat. Us Bangladeshis, we like a good snack and this chicken donut goes between that realm of I'm really hungry but I don't quite want to eat but I really want a snack. Chicken donut. The secret to a good donut is an enriched dough. So I've got 550 grams of strong bread flour to which I'm adding 14 grams of fast action yeast. The dough is enriched by adding 60 grams of caster sugar and 175 grams of unsalted butter. And then just using your fingertips, just rub that butter into the flour. So now we're going to add our wet ingredients. So that's four eggs and 100 mils of cold water. Bring together to form a rough dough. Then knead in the mixer for six minutes. What I love about this dough is because it's got loads of butter in it, can you see? It's lovely and shiny. And this is the start of the best donut you're ever, ever going to eat. Pop that into a bowl. And we're going to leave that to prove till it's doubled in size. So now for our chicken filling. No, we are not making a sandwich. Yes, we are still making chicken donuts. And for that, we need some delicious chicken. And I'm flavoring my 280 grams of cooked chicken with a handful of fresh chives. We want to add some flavor to this, but we don't want to add so much that it becomes waterlogged. And this just adds the onion flavor without any of the extra liquid. Add seven tablespoons of barbecue sauce, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, and to spice it up, a teaspoon of chili flakes. And then I'm going to give that a really good mix. Back to my dough, which has had its first proof. Knock out that air. Come on. And then let's tip that straight out onto our... Look, why? look at that stretch. Gorgeous dough. To ensure they take the same time to cook, I want each ball to weigh 90 grams. Roll out to about 12 centimetres, and here's where we throw away the donut rule book. So you grab, like, a tablespoon and whack that straight in the middle. Then we're going to... Grab all our ends and bring it together. Get all of the air out. And just when you get to the last bit, a really good pinch in the middle. Seam side up and just pop them down. And then do the same to the others. You don't want to overstuff it because when you go to fry it, it could burst. And you don't want to underfill it because it's kind of like a bit underwhelming. So it's somewhere in between. If you didn't want to put chicken in these, which you will, which you will, this is the perfect dough for you to fry your donuts and then stuff them with jam or creme patissiere, some custard, whatever you want. These need to proof for a second time. An hour should do it. Because we've got chicken in here, I'm going to let it prove in the fridge. To take the flavour up a notch, I'm making a cheeky little savoury dust to go on top. Mix one teaspoon each of caster sugar, salt, dried coriander leaves, ground cumin, and garlic granules. And there you go, savory dust. And now it's time to fry our donuts. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, they're massive. <laughs> they're not mini donuts, no. Nobody does mini donuts, who are they for anyway? And for the ultimate crunch, there's only one way to cook these bad boys. Donuts need to be deep fried, guys. So if anyone asks me, please, can I bake these? Yes, you can. But deep frying gives you texture and flavor that baking cannot. I think lots of people are afraid of deep frying. It comes naturally to me because I grew up doing it. Respect it and it respects you. My golden rule is to half fill your pan with vegetable oil and deep fry on a low to medium heat. 
And let's start with this one. Pick them up gently and then gently drop it in away from you. Just away, so in case, just in case there's some oil that spills, it doesn't spill on you. Okay, so drop it in away from you. And then we'll just kind of push it down a little bit, just encourage it to brown. Okay, so we're going to turn, can you see? Look, 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 donut, look, look, that's a donut. These literally take maybe five, six minutes at most. Oh, yeah. And pop those straight down. Time for my savoury dust. To make sure it sticks, sprinkle it over while they're still hot. Now repeat the whole process with the rest of the donuts. Away from you. Turn them round. I love this smell. It reminds me of my mom's house. Last one. Very few things leave me lost for words. This has to be one of them. I mean, chicken donuts. Come on. Ah, ah, OK. OK. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that. Look at it. Hello. Look at that delicious, sweet fried dough stuffed with barbecue, shredded chicken, all topped off with my delicious savory dust. Chicken and donuts together at last. Who says donuts have to be sweet? Goodness me, just get in my mouth. Mm -hmm. These are like the most confusing, most delicious thing you will ever eat. And my goodness, it is good.